eggs. Is one of these nice? These are eggs. This looks like a popular place, Nodes. Where are we? Yes, we are at Cradle Mountain Information Centre. Mm -hmm. So there's a shuttle bus system up here in Cradle Mountain that uh, takes you to all the different sightseeing and walking areas. There's some walks that are really quick and easy and take you to nice places or there's some really hard walks. You can do up to a, was it, six day walk? <laughs> totally up to your fitness level. As long as you have a parks pass, you can just go up and grab your bus ticket. If you don't have a parks pass, they also have options to buy. millimeter lens up in the air and it's really hard to keep steady but I'm doing it <laughs>
just the one little wombat. I wonder if we'll see any more. Wombat poo, you get 1.5 hours of wombat poo. Surroundings, <laughs> and even the most ardent botanist, 
So this is the chalet and basically Windorfer, he, he said everybody must hear about this place, everybody must see this place. So he wanted to build a chalet so that everybody would come. Fair enough because it's a pretty nice place. Yeah. Just an empty box, Wayne. It's enough. They must have taken it out. 1919 this was built. Mm. And they had a peg. Mm. And they could pull the peg out and then the freezing water would come in. Mm -hmm. The cold bath. A very cold bath from the creek. Mm. Yes, yeah, this little creek down here. I've learnt about the King Billy Pines. Mm -hmm. Some of them in the 1920s were over 1,000 years old and the King Billy Pines were picked by Windorfer to be in the forest around his chalet. Mm. Um, it also says sadly not much is left of Tasmania's King Billy forests. Wildfires have reduced them and they don't grow very fast.
behind a lizard. A skink. Where is it? Tasmania has 21 reptiles, mm -hmm. including three snakes and 18 lizards. <laughs> 13 of the lizards are endemic to Tasmania, which means they only live in Tasmania. Please don't spike me. <laughs> I didn't realise it would get this close. It's sniffing under my bum. Huh. Oh, cool. You reckon that? Where is it? It's behind me. Is it? Don't lean back. It'll hurt. <laughs> their spikes actually aren't that sharp, but it seems I, am I safe? they're protected animals. Am I safe, it's no rides that you touch them. I'm safe, mate. Their diet consists of ants, termites, and other invertebrates. Starting to sound as though heat down the far end of the valley of Sutton's Forest. You can push your way up through the trees and get up onto that ridge line. Big amphitheater down the far end is a shadow. Amazing what you can hear up top of there. No idea where they're coming from. Along the ridge line in front of us is a radio relay tower down through the rainforest in the Waldheim Chalet. I've got covered in leeches. Nearly lost my boot down a bog hole. When I asked over tit twice, but I found out what was up there. Leeches and bog holes. <laughs> and where I thought I must have had me boot lace undone, I found a plant up there with a long narrow leaf that sort of hugs the ground. When you put your foot on the end of that, it makes a nice loop. When the other foot comes through, over you go. Twice. I reckon that's where I got the leeches on me head. You know, you scratch the back of your ear and it's all soggy. Jump in the shower, there's one in your belly button. There's more. I'll stop there.